I have not recorded a Mandela Effect video in a while, but I wanted to talk about a couple of new discoveries. But first, the creation of Adam painting. What's interesting is the hand used to be reaching down, the hand of God would touch Adam. So the creator would be touching the created. It's been reversed now. But what I would like to show you guys is a painting on the ceiling because from certain angles, it creates an illusion that the hands are going back and forth. Um, so if you look up here at the creation of Adam, as you can see the hand of God appears lower from that angle. But as you go around it, it changes. From this angle, it's not really as noticeable until you turn the camera. So, I have, if you take the camera, yeah, I have uh, a couple of new Mandela effects that I want to share with everybody, but I found some pictures, reality residue, hundreds of images showing the creation of Adam, the way that it once was. I'm just gonna close the door. It seems that all the Mandela effect changes are symbolic in some way. It's like a deeper rooted meaning to it. I'm going to close the door here. Okay, so I made a video probably three years and a half, three and a half years ago. And I showed um, reality residue of this. So it's not a new Mandela effect per se. Um, there's hundreds of these images. Let's just flip through a few of them. Can you see the monitor? Okay. So on my laptop here, each one of these images, the reenactment shows God's hand higher than the subject. And so the question is, how could this many people get it wrong? Um, if they're copying from the original, why do they all have the opposite? This is the phenomenon of the Mandela effect. Was I too fast on that? No? So there are numerous images showing this, the way that thousands of people remember it once was, including tattoos, which are permanently inked into people's skin, yet they got it wrong. Um, so uh, I'm gonna talk about a couple of other Mandela effects. Tell everybody how the Mandela effect has changed my life. Um, when I did videos three and a half years ago, it was just for my small group of friends and family, but publicly more people viewed them. Sometimes 3,000, 6,000. My number one video, I think is over 80,000 views. So through the Mandela effect, I met new friends. And uh, that impacted my life in a positive way. So um, there has been a journey that this has led me down. I even made t-shirts and sent those out to people who I talk to to this day. Um, these are the Mandela Effect t-shirts right here that I had printed. I was one of the first, maybe the first person to do a Mandela Effect t-shirt. And I still keep making discoveries today. Um, but I actually met 
my significant other, uh, and through my spouse, we're now a family. Um, I have a beautiful baby. This is my family. And I have the Mandela effect to owe for that. If I had not known about this phenomena, I would have not met my significant other, who's recording me right now. Thank you, Sabrina. She's doing a great job, everybody. Round of applause for Sabrina. So, I wanna share some new Mandela effects. At least they're new to me with everybody. Um, this is the exciting part, is hearing about one that we've never heard before. So anyways, for censorship purposes, I don't wanna say this individual's name because YouTube is um, pretty glitchy. They don't like uh, certain key phrases. So I'm gonna call this man uh, Donald. Uh, and let me just show you an image here of Donald. Right here, he has his um, miniature sized doll, replica of himself. My question to everybody is, who remembers what color hair Mr. Donald had? Uh, if I zoom in here, you can see it's kind of like a, a brown, right? What, a brown? The doll is the same. But I remember Donald with yellow hair. Uh, however, when you go to look up images, very few images actually show him with yellow hair. People are gonna say, oh, he has gray hair now. It went gray. Well, yeah, at his age, but these dolls, this was made, you know, a little younger and clearly brown hair. All the images uh, of him are brown hair. I distinctly remember his hair being brightly yellow, not for uh, a, a short fad, a little quick phase, but for a long time. So let's just take a look at some reality residue. There we go. Donald uh, Troll Doll, yellow hair. Can you see the screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, these brushes, yellow hair. Time Magazine, yellow hair. This doll, yellow hair. Another doll, yellow hair. More dolls. Costumes, Halloween costumes, yellow hair. Interesting enough, he never really had yellow hair. Uh, very few images, even, is that a tattoo? with yellow hair. So uh, that's the first new Mandela effect I wanted to point out. If you remember he always had brown hair, gray hair, leave a comment, tell me how wrong I am. If you remember yellow hair, uh, try to find pictures like that. There's very few, very few. I thought it was across the board. Uh, a couple of other Mandela effects I ran across is on the navigational system for iPhone. I used to say, find a restaurant near me and it would say restaurants, right? And give me a list. Now it's nearby. Find a restaurant nearby. That's what it recognizes. It's not near me anymore. So if you're an iPhone user uh, and you're familiar with maps, check that out. Do you remember near me or nearby? And then um, the last Mandela effect I'll mention in this video to restrict the time a little shorter, make it easier for me to upload, uh, is married with children. Uh, the phenomena there is in the opening song. Love and marriage go together like a horse and carriage. That's how I remember love and marriage. Um, well, now it says love and a marriage, love and a marriage, a marriage. Never heard that before. Uh, but when I played it, um, Sabrina, who is recording now for me, Thanks again, by the way. Uh, she couldn't hear it. She said it, she, she hears love and marriage, and it's love and a marriage. So um, I can talk more about the sound phenomena where people are hearing different things. I found some new examples, but I've been talking for long enough for this one video, and I want to keep it short. So uh, those are my new Mandela effects. Haven't, haven't been on YouTube in a while. Just wanted to check in with everybody. Everything is going great, and uh, talk to you all next time.